Hello and welcome to my channel. On this channel we built robots. But the robots itself are not super interesting. What we need, we also need a sophisticated control of this robot. And it would be nice that this control is, uh, has some brains like uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, etc. Some cool new stuff. And in order to do this, first of all we need to simulate the robot in the computer like this. We can try different algorithms there. We can try to do the reinforcement learning there for the real robot. And afterwards this control we can apply to our real robot. And today I'm going to show you how to start to simulate your robot using probably the most powerful robot simulation tool Omniverse Isaac Sim. So let's get started. First of all you need to check this website. Over here you have all the information for this Isaac Sim and how to use it. Actually this is tutorial, installation guide, etc. in one package. In order to run this Isaac Sim, you either need to run it on the cloud or on your local PC, but in any case you need a GPU to run this. And uh, that's why this Isaac Sim is good and powerful because it uses the power of the GPU. I'm going to run it on my local computer. Actually this is a computer which I built specially for the Isaac Sim. This is the only purpose of this computer is to run Isaac Sim. Now let's see at the requirements what kind of computer and what kind of GPU especially you need in order to run it. First of all you need the Ubuntu or Windows and uh, you need quite powerful CPU either Core i7 or AMD Ryzen 5 at least. And you need a GPU at least RTX 2070. But if you don't have GPU I know a solution. You can participate in the raffle which I organized with Nvidia and you will have a chance to win RTX 3080 Ti. Now let me tell you what I have here. And this is my setup. AMD Ryzen 7, 64 GB of RAM. This is a GPU RTX 3080 Ti. So this is what is called good requirements for the Isaac Sim. The GTC conference is started. GTC stands for the GPU Technology Conference. And you can say that I'm not interested in GPU, but this is a conference about AI and also about robotics. And this is online conference and this is free conference. So you can participate there, watch the sessions there for free. You don't need to pay anything. You just need to register for this. And the interesting thing is that there are a lot of different sessions there. The sessions for the professionals, for the like hardcore AI professionals and the sessions for the people who knows almost nothing about AI. There are also a lot of sessions about uh, robotics, how to implement AI into robotics. And also there are sessions about Jetson, Jetson Nano, Jetson Xavier and stuff like this, how to use them, etc, etc. So it's very interesting conference and I really recommend you to attend it. And also by attending this conference you have a chance to win exactly the same graphics card as mine. So RTX 3080 Ti. For this there are only four steps. The first step, you need to register to this conference using my link which is going to be in the description to this video. The second step, you need to attend any at least one session on this conference. The third step, you need to attend the keynote session. Actually a keynote session you can watch on the YouTube. And the fourth, the final condition, you need to be subscriber to my channel. And also I would like to say that my channel is quite small. There are not so many people on my channel. And this video are not going to be seen by a lot of people and only a small portion of these people is going to be registered and only a small portion of these people who is registering is going to attend this conference. So what I would like to say is that the chances to win this graphic card are quite high. So I really recommend you to participate and like this also you can support my channel. And even if you don't win these graphic cards you're going to learn something new on this conference. So it's going to be useful in any case. Now let's continue with our project. First of all we need to install operation system. I'm going to use Ubuntu 20. There are actually three possibilities either Windows 10, Ubuntu 18 or Ubuntu 20. Ubuntu is installed and as the next step we need to ensure that we are using Nvidia driver for the GPU. So in our case we were using some open source driver and we need to put Nvidia driver which is not open source but we need it. The next we need to install Omniverse launcher and from this Omniverse launcher we're going to install Isaac Sim. So we need to go to this page and over here we can find installation and download Omniverse launcher. Over here download. We need the Omniverse launcher for Linux and it's over here. 
let's move it to the desktop we need to do this one in order to be able to run this launcher and so now we can try to launch it this is a login which you use for nvidia and now we are inside omniverse launcher license agreement continue data collection and use continue i continue this with the default settings we need to install cache and it's over here so this is our launcher over here there are different tabs we need to go to the nucleus and we need to add local nuclear service this is going to be the pass uh, and installation in progress now we are logged in in the local host we're going to exchange we are looking for the isaac sim here is our isaac sim and we would like to install it and let's wait some time so the isaac sim is installed here and now in order to launch it we can go to the library here we have everything installed with our launcher so isaac sim launch we choose here isaac sim and start and here our isaac sim running ha 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 you can work with the isaac sim either through the gui or through the python api through the python you have more possibilities uh, so it's more advanced usage and in order to use this we need visual studio code you can either download the visual studio from here or you can install it from ubuntu software now i would you advise you to follow the tutorial i actually did this one gui api and isaac gym tutorial actually i think it's a good idea to do entire tutorial but it takes some time so i'm just uh, now at the gym and using this tutorial you start by making a very simple robot with just two wheels and the body and you put a camera on top of it and it's over here and it has a camera over here and this is a view from this camera so if i run the simulation the robot is driving how cool is this and let me try to do something like this ha <laughs> you see <laughs> and another example you can use a jetbot which is also quite simple example you run it and it goes like crazy and again you can take it and throw it i think it doesn't work perfectly well oh now it works hey <laughs> Now let's quickly look at the simple Isaac Gym example. And what is Isaac Gym first? Isaac Gym is a place where you train your robots. This is a place which you can use for the reinforcement learning for your robot. So you can make a multiple copies of these robots and run them at the same time to learn some task. Like this, it's going to learn this task faster. And the good thing is that this Isaac Gym almost all computation of this isaac gym is going on the gpu and like this it's incredibly fast yeah i'm not specialist but i'm explaining like i understand it myself for this we need to install example rep repository but this is simple haha -ha, now let's look at this training you see how many of them I know that this is a simple example, but still it's cool. And now let's put this robot into the Isaac sim. So basically what we are going to do, we are going to take the cut file of our robot and transform this file into the file which is going to be understandable by Isaac sim. And normally Isaac sim works with USD file, universal sim description. But it's uh, kind of complicated to make this file from beginning. So what we're going to do, we're going to make URDF file universal robot description file file which is understandable by ROS robotic operation system and afterwards we're going to uh, transform this URDF file into the USD file using the Isaac sim so first of all we need to make a URDF file for this we're going to use our CAD model this one really beautiful one but the problem is that over here there are a lot of parts and uh, for the simulation we don't really need all these individual parts so what I did, I combined some of the parts which are not moving, the parts which are fixed, uh, like uh, completely fixed, like with the screws, which are not moving one with respect to another. And like this, I went from uh, many, many parts to only 
six parts. This, 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 and this. So like this, we simplified our model and afterwards I saved each of these parts as STL file. And I used STL with the low resolution because the lower the resolution, the faster your simulation is going to work. So now from these STL files, we need to make URDF file. And for this, first of all, we need to understand what is URDF file. I found this YouTube video, which I think perfect for explaining URDF file. And this video is from Articulated Robotics. And basically URDF file is a XML file, which has two main components, links and joints. Links looks like this. Each link has a name, it has a visual, so visual representation, it has collision representation and some physical parameters like mass of the link, the position of the center of the mass and the inertia of this link. And the second part is the joint part. And joint part, it says which links it uh, joins between them and also at which point, what kind of joint is this? Is it revolute joint or is it slide joint or is it fixed joint? And uh, around which axis it revolutes, slides, etc. And the limits for this joint. Afterwards, I found the URDF file of uh, Franca MK robot and I did the same files for our robot. I used the same STL for the collisions as for the visual over here, but it's better to use for the collision some really low resolution STL files. Like this, the simulation is going to be fast. And for the visual, it's not so important to use the really low resolution. You can use a higher resolution. And in the visual, it's maybe better to use not STL mesh, but DAE mesh. Like this, this mesh also has the colors. If you have, like, if you want to have a really beautiful robot arm and not just functional robot arm. And over here, there is our URDF file, this one. And over here, I specified the STL file, the path to our STL file of this link. And so I did this the same for the collision and for other links, blah, blah, blah. And like this, it's done. And I forget to tell you important thing, when you make STL files, you should make STL files in meters because Isaac Sim use meter as a default dimension unit. So STL should be converted in meters, not in millimeters. So now we have the URDF file and we need to convert this URDF file to USD file. In the tutorial, there is a section about this over here. So we're going to follow this section. And for this, we need the Isaac Sim. We need the URDF importer. We keep everything default. In the input file, we need to specify the URDF file, this one import and we have our robot over here haha -ha. in order to check that everything works we're going to use the articulation inspector now we can run the simulation we can choose our robot and we can move the joints so this is the first joint the second one the third one the fourth one and the fifth one. So we managed to put our real robot into the simulation. Yeah, this is cool. And we can also add some colors to this robot. Ho oh, ho, you see how it works. This is cool. And we can also render in the real time or pass tracing. I think the real time is faster for computation. Finally, we managed to put a real robot into the simulation. So we kind of make a digital twin, but we did it in a really simple way. So we actually made a visual representation of our robot, but the dynamics which we put there is not the real dynamics. I put some uh, like random values there for mass, for inertia and for the actuators, for the property of the actuators. It's like uh, default values uh, and this should be changed. And I think this is the 
biggest problem in the digital twin, in the putting the robot in the simulation, is uh, to capture these dynamics. And this is super complicated because there are a lot of parameters which you need to fill. And uh, most of these parameters you don't even know. You need to measure them or to estimate them. I hope that in GTC 22 they will explain how to do this. How to take your real robot, your digital robot and match the dynamics between them. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Huge thank you to people who support me via Patreon and via YouTube channel membership. Here are their names. Thank you guys and girls. You are the best. As usual, stay safe. Good luck with your projects and see you next time.